Happy Thursday, Phoenicians! This is Zach. Welcome to the Phoenix 787 channel again. And I have a nice special video for you today. I was originally going to make a video based off of beers to drink while it's exam period to keep yourself focused and relaxed at the same time. That is this beer right here. This is the Rising Sun Pale Ale. But when I was buying this beer at the store, I uh, noticed that Baird, the company that makes this beer, they have a new seasonal brew out, so I'm gonna try that beer too. So, this is the Baird Beer Brew Haha! That sounds really stupid, doesn't it? Oh well. But anyway, this is actually probably their most famous beer, the Rising Sun Pale Ale. It's a pale ale. It's really, really citrus even flavor. I've drank this beer a number of times. And you guys already know Baird if you've known this channel for a while. I've done a few reviews on their beers before and I love their beer. I can't find my goddamn opener. Ah, I found it. Here it is. Alright, so let's uh, cut right to the chase and drink this beer. Oops, I did not open it. Alright, there it goes. Yeah, oh my god, you can already smell the citrusy hops. That is really good. I've had this beer a number of times, so this isn't a first beer for me. I actually completely forgot what I ranked it as, like what my rating was, so... Untapped time! Okay, I give it four stars. I've drank this beer... Oh, I've only drank this beer three times total, but it's still one of the best beers. So here we go. Cheers! Alrighty. Yeah, this beer is just way too easy to drink for anyone, really. You know, it's beer, it's gonna relax you, but at the same time, the hops in this beer, that's what's gonna give you that extra push to study for your exams this week, if you're in Japan, of course. It's so easy to, well, it's bubbly. It's so easy to drink, too. Baird is known for its artwork on the bottle. I don't know if you can see this. I'll, I'll show a close-up shot in a second. But uh, their artwork is impressive. If you don't know anything much about Baird, the um, the guy who owns it's an American. And he lives in Shizuoka. I think he lives near Numazu City, which is closer towards where the uh, you know Kanagawa Prefecture, Tokyo area, metropolitan area is. Talking and drinking at the same time. <laughs> He, um, he's married to a Japanese woman. They own a business together. It's really cool. They have tap rooms all around Tokyo. So if you guys are in Tokyo, just look for Baird Tap Room. B-A-I-R-D Tap Room. And you'll be able to find anywhere, really. There's one in Nakanegado. There's one in Kajuku. Those are the only two I've been to. But I'm looking... I think there's one in Ueno as well that I might go to. Each tap room has a, has a different type of food. So go ahead and check out those tap rooms, you know, depending on your type of, you know, your taste. So Harajuku has Japanese food, like washoku food, and Nakamegado has pizza, really good pizza. So give that a shot. So the specs on this beer is 5.5% alcohol. The bottle size is 330 milliliters, that's all it says here on this thing. So it's pretty good. I'm going to finish this beer, and we'll get on to the next one. Here's the next beer, the Carpenter's Mikan Ale. If you don't know, know what a Mikan is, it's a type of orange, right? Well, this is the first time I've seen Baird make something like this. It's, uh, oh my god, it's 7% alcohol, holy crap. That's really high for a fruit beer. So I might be drunk while I'm doing this. All right, here we go, let's pour this puppy in here. Oh, that's an interesting color. Look at this. It's not what you think it is. Mikan Ale. Let's give it a shot. Cheers, guys. Oh, there it is, yeah. Wow. That's a mix of ale and mikan. Like a brown ale and a mikan mixed together. Man, that's actually quite impressive. Anyway guys, if you want to try these beers, come to Japan. Uh, just a side note, just for anyone who cares, my jersey's probably in the way here. I'm not sponsored by Baird, I'm just drinking them, I bought this for my own money. I, I you know this is a company here in Japan. If you want to try them, find the tap rooms, they're all over the Kanto area, and I'm sh pretty sure you can find it somewhere. But I gotta go study! 
So, hit that like button if you enjoyed these two beers. Cheers, guys.